Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I am very excited to be back today with another video. So as you guys know, I love to go thrifting, but I also really enjoy a good garage sale. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we're gonna do a garage sale thrift haul. Now, these are things I have accumulated for a couple months now. I actually got all these pieces before I went back home to Indiana during like all of June. So it's been a while since I picked these pieces up, but I have so many pieces that I found out here in Maryland at different garage sales and I'm gonna show them with you. Most of these pieces I picked up to resell. So I'm gonna be reselling them on Poshmark or on eBay, but also there are a few pieces that we're keeping for ourselves as well. So all in all, I didn't spend very much money and I got a lot of good pieces that should make me a profit. So super excited about it. Let's jump into today's garage sale thrift haul. First up, I have this amazing little Levi Strauss denim jacket. I think it's super cute. I ended up getting a lot of these pieces from a garage sale that's near me where the people that have the garage sale, it's kind of like a permanent garage sale and that they buy um, storage units. And then they, I guess they must sell some things under the storage units and then they just put some in a garage sale format. They have lots and lots of things. So I don't remember exactly how much I spent. It's been a couple, uh, at least weeks, maybe months <laughs> since I bought some of these pieces, but I'm pretty sure I spent like a dollar or two for this piece. And it is so cute. It's just a nice denim jacket, really thick denim, Levi Strauss. This is a size medium and it looks to be in really good condition. So buttons down the front, really nice jacket. These originally sell for over $100 on their website, so my guess is I sold another one that's sort of similar to this, but it was an older piece, and that was about $35, I think, that I sold it for, so I'm hoping to list between somewhere between $35 and $50. Hopefully, maybe on the upper end of that, so that way I can take offers, but I thought it was a really nice piece, so for a dollar or two, at least making hopefully $40, bucks, that is a good turnaround. And at that same garage sale, I also got this really cute little bag. Now, in hindsight, this might not have been a good purchase because it still has this um, security tag on it. And I've been having so many freaking issues with security tags lately. Um, but I did see a hack where somebody put this like in the freezer and then after a while they could like, it automatically just like broke apart. So maybe I'll try that. Also, it seemed a little shady that there's security tag left on it, but it was such a cute little bag. I think it's so pretty. It's like little marbles. Holding them together is kind of like a little clear frame i think it's so cute it has a little strap it's a really nice color scheme i love the marbling throughout the little marbles and i just think they're really really adorable honestly i think this would be a really cute like little bag just for like a statement fashion bag so i could sell this or with the strap inside i could just keep this for home decor like it would be a really cute vase or to just hold some things like in a bathroom i think it's really cute so I picked this up and I, if I remember right, this was like a dollar. And if I can figure out how to get the security tag off, it will be great. If you guys have any tips, let me know down below. But I picked this up and I thought it was super cute. Next up from that same garage sale is this cute little windbreaker from Nike. I thought it was really interesting. Kind of like a very 80s print to it. Thought it was super fun. It has a hood and this is extremely lightweight. Like this is very, very thin. It has a little cinch on the hood there. This is in a size medium and it has the metallic Nike on it as well as a zip up. Um, there was a little right here. It looks almost like a little burn hole right there on it, which is unfortunate, but I think I paid like a dollar for this. So I still thought it was worth picking up. And now that I have been reselling a few more months than when I originally picked this up, I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I was there again, but it is a really cool color combination. So I think it will probably photograph really well. So probably sell this maybe between 15, 25, maybe list at 25 and hope for 15. But I think for a dollar, still good. Um, I wouldn't suggest it though, especially picking up something with a flaw like that. I saw the flaw when I bought it and I still bought it. Probably not the best move, but it was pretty cool. So still happy with it. The print really saves it, I think. Now I picked this little dress up from a different garage sale. Now I bundled a ton of different things. You're gonna see so many things from this garage sale throughout here. So I don't know how much I paid per item. So maybe a dollar or two for this little dress. And this is such a cute Y2K little 90s dress. This is from the brand No Boundaries, which I think was originally sold at Walmart, but this is an old tag. It's very, very 90s. It's this pink little mini skirt with kind of like a crepe over skirt. <laughs> Caught it. Kind of like a crepe over skirt. You have little cap sleeves. The bodice is a very trendy style right now. 
with just kind of like the smocking going on. And then we also have a tie waist at the back. So super cute, a little short skirt. This is in a size large, junior's large, so a size 11, 13. It's a very, very cute dress. I think that it will sell well. I've been selling a lot of Y2K dresses like this lately, so very happy to pick this up for like a dollar or two and hopefully sell it for like 35. Probably list around there, hope to make at least 25 to 30. So really cute and I think that it's gonna do well. Next up, I have a pair of Timberland boots. I picked this up at that storage unit reseller's garage sale. But these are a pair of Timberland boots and these are in a very popular color. So this sort of color, very popular. It does have a little bit of markings up here at the toes, which I think is pretty common. The bottoms are in great condition. I was hoping I could maybe get this out with like a suede brush or something. I might have to buy myself a suede brush and try that out. I know a lot of other resellers talk about it, but the bottom, the tread looks in great condition and I know that's super important. But for these, I think I paid five bucks for these which I mean, I don't like to pay five bucks for anything at a garage sale, but I recently sold a pair of these for like 65 bucks and heading into fall, I think that these are gonna be a good thing to have. So I'm hoping to probably list at 65, maybe 75 and hopefully make 65 again on them. I would be very pleased with that. So picked those up. So $5 into $65, muy bueno. And then we have two pairs of bottoms. This I picked up, I think I, was, I picked these up at that storage unit garage sale. And these are a size large and they're just a Nike sweat short. And they're in a navy blue. They have the swoosh on the side and then a pocket on the back. But I thought these would be really cool for Jeremy. So I picked those up maybe for a dollar and probably will give those to my husband. If he doesn't wanna wear them, then I'll sell them for maybe like 15, 20 bucks. And then I also picked up this pair of Fila sweatpants. These are a jogger style and they just have Fila on the leg. I think they're super cool. They have a drawstring waist, size small and they're in really good condition. So I picked those up as well. And then on the back here, it says change the game. So I feel like feel is very underrated in the athletic wear game, but I think they're cool. So pick those up, probably list around like 15, probably like 20, 25 and hope to make at least 15, 20, but grab those for probably another dollar or so. And then I picked up this crew neck, which I think is super cool. It's a vintage NFL crew neck and it's for the Baltimore Ravens, which is very easy to find where I live. Cause obviously I'm here in Maryland. I'm only like, probably 45 minutes under an hour to Baltimore. So find a lot of pieces like this, but I thought this one was really cool. I got this at a garage sale. I bundled this with that Y2K dress and a couple other pieces too. I probably paid like a dollar for this maybe. <laughs> In all, I think I spent $9 at that garage sale. So grab this and I love to sell these. I sell these all the time. I sell vintage little crewnecks all the time. So I'll probably list at 35. Sometimes I'll sell them all outright for 35, but maybe 25 at the lowest I would take for this. But Super cool, liked it, love the color, and I love how it's a little oversized. And this is in a size medium. Oh, wow. This isn't a size medium, but it looks definitely oversized for sure. Like I would say probably like, it looks like a large. So grab that, happy with that, and it's a really cool piece. Honestly, do I need it? No, I don't need it, but I want it, but I don't want it. Yeah, feel. And then at another garage sale, I picked up these super cute little vintage kids clothing pieces so this first one is this very very like old school vintage dress like come on look at the rosette on that look at the little dainty overlay puff sleeves and a little full skirt i thought this was really cute so i grabbed it it has a bow on the back and this is by the brand rare editions and it ha oh it has the union tag so that's good a red one blue one so that means it was made no later than 1995 so that's good and this is in a size, I think a size seven, maybe? <laughs> I believe that's a size seven. That would be my guess. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but that's the tag, a super cool piece. And then at that same garage sale, I picked up this little vintage, little Mickey Mouse Disney sweater. So I thought this was super cute, guys. Come on, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. This is a knit sweater. This is by Mickey's Stuff for kids by Jet Set, and then it's got a copyright for Disney, and this is in a size large 14. So I thought this was adorable. I really liked the funky patterns going on. I love the Minnie and Mickey on the front. We've got buttons going down that are heart buttons. The back is plain. 
and I just thought it was adorable <laughs> so again for a vintage little sweater like this probably listed around 35 honestly this one I'll probably list lower maybe 15 maybe 20 maybe 25 somewhere in that range but this one definitely will list a little bit higher because it's vintage and it's Disney which is very popular especially Mickey Mouse is popular so grabbed those from the same garage sale I think I paid maybe two dollars a piece for these because they were vintage so happy with those though I'm glad to pay it <laughs> I got this at that same um, storage unit garage sale and it is a North Face jacket and North Face does well for me but this zipper but this zipper it works but it doesn't have it's like pull on it so I don't know if I should have picked this up but this is a size large it's got the pink lining I think it's really cute my guess is I'll still try to sell it I'll probably list it low because of the flaw maybe like 15 and then just hope to make 10 bucks and I mean I paid a dollar so it's still a lot of profit but I don't know if it was worth my time is the problem. So picked that up. Not sure about that one, but it is kind of cute. I like the colors and the pink is really nice. Um, but I'm on the fence. It does have a hood, which is good. But yeah, I'm not really certain about that one. Probably shouldn't have picked that one up. But I don't think I noticed the zipper flaw until later. And then I went to a garage sale where um, everything was free. So I got this whole pile of LuLaRue stuff. Now, <laughs> I know that LuLaRue doesn't always sell well I have sold a few pieces before that I've gotten for free and the reason why I picked up all these things is because they were free so I got free inventory I have no idea if I'll be able to sell any of this but when it's free you gotta take it am I right so I'm gonna just quickly show you each piece um this one Luluru extra extra small little teal flared number at the bottom this one is new with tags a lot of these were new with tags and this is a size large and again it's like that same kind of style where it's got a little bit of a flare at the bottom pink polka dot and then this one size medium it's got this like pansy kind of print I think is a pansy um ringer style and just like a t-shirt this one is a size small and again another like floral little pattern t-shirt and this one is a size small another floral pattern t-shirt <laughs> it's kind of weird that there's so many different sizes on these because that's gonna make it harder to bundle but this one is another new with tags this is a size large and this is like an oversized kind of like a tunic top i think this one's actually not that bad it's kind of cute and then this one is lularue size small huh what's going on so it has kind of like smocking at the neckline which is actually kind of cute and then it has kind of a bell sleeve and kind of like just a regular shirt length almost like a tunic length it's a size small i wonder if this is supposed it's probably supposed to be a tunic it's got a little bit of a ruffle at the neckline i think that's actually pretty cute that's a size small and then we have two pairs of leggings this one is a rainbow pair which is actually really cute and this is one size so we have a pair of rainbow leggings which honestly might do okay and then we have a pair of football leggings which are also one size so just a little bit of a football helmet football kind of pair of leggings full length and those are kind of cute so i'll probably bundle a couple of those things together like sizes together and maybe the leggings together even if we sell them at all it will be profit i won't even waste my time trying to take them to a buy sell trade place i know that they will not take them <laughs> so um, I got those for free and that should be all straight profit so I'm happy to pick them up but now I kind of have a lot of LuLaRue stuff and LuLaRue I don't really like to sell it doesn't sell well it's kind of oversaturated so we'll see what happens I'll keep you updated on my Instagram and also in my what sold videos and then I picked up this little Harley Davidson t-shirt this is a women's fit for sure it's a size large Harley Davidson Motors definitely a women's size women's sizing is absolutely the worst but this is for the Baltimore Maryland Harley Davidson store so that is cool again I bundled this with a lot of other things and that's the reason I picked it up I probably paid a dollar or less for this um, but I thought it was a cool piece I know Harley Davidson I like to pick them up sometimes um, so I picked them up and we'll see how it goes but I'll probably only sell this between 15 and 25 maybe I'll list at 25 and hope to make 15 uh, but still a dollar to fifteen dollars is at least ten dollars twelve dollars of profit and then next we found this super cool vintage kind of windbreaker it looks like a football little like windbreaker sweatshirt this has an orioles patch on it so the baltimore orioles that is baseball i'm pretty sure and i thought it was cool it's a cool oversized piece i've seen people wearing a lot of these lately just with like bike shorts i think is super cool guys i love bike shorts i think they're one of god's greatest inventions and I think this would look really cool with that. This is in a size extra large, just by the brand Vantage. Definitely looks like a vintage brand. 
and this Orioles logo I think is an older one too. I paid a dollar or two for this and should probably resell between 35 and 50. Maybe I'll list it 40 and then hope to make 35. That's my guess, but super cool piece. Very happy with that one too. <laughs> and now, even though Jeremy and I have no plans to have children anytime soon, even though we are looking for a house, which is super exciting, more videos on that to come. I do pick up kids things when I see them. I worked in a library for years and years, probably like five or six years. So I am very familiar with children's books and I know that it's kind of expensive to outfit a children's library. So when I find them now, I like to pick them up and prepare, you know? Even if I don't have kids soon or ever, I can still have them for nieces and nephews. But these are Beatrice Potter's books, you know, Little Peter Rabbit, things like that. I found all of these at that storage unit garage sale again, and I think she charged me like something ridiculous. I think she charged me like five bucks for all of these, which honestly, I was like, what? Like, this is a garage sale, maybe like a dollar for all of these? You're little. But whatever, I paid it, I guess. So I got some other good deals there, like those Timberland boots. So I kind of just took it and ran. But I thought these were super cute. And I think that they are great stories to have around. So I will add those to my growing collection of books that I have picked up at garage sales for future children that I do not have right now. Love it. And then I also picked up some hard goods at an estate sale. I've literally only been to, what, one estate sale now in my life. And it was a good experience. I really enjoyed finding some cool things there, like these pretty sweet little coasters. I have a set of six coasters here and these are like a slate coaster but they have a little wolf on them. Oh it's okay it's okay but they all have these wolves on them and they look super cool. It looks like they are painted onto it. They're like a little octagon shape. They have the slate finish and then they have a cork on the back to keep it you know for sliding and all that jazz. But I think I paid like a dollar or two for all six of these coasters I'm trying to pick up the coaster on the floor with my foot. This is probably a terrible idea. I paid a dollar or two but honestly I think I looked up some comps. I'll try to sell them maybe on Poshmark first. Maybe I'll go over to eBay. Gosh I hate I was thinking like 25 bucks, like I would pay 20 bucks for a nice set of coasters and these are very trendy. Like I could totally see some like TikTok or Instagram baddie like loving these. Wolves are really popular right now too. Don't know why, but I picked those up and I thought they were kind of cool. So grab those. And then also at that garage sale, I picked up this thimble. <laughs> so I thought it was super cool. It is this like really nice like vintage looking thimble and it's got this woman on it. I just thought it was kind of cute and she is really beautiful so it says circa 1900s so she's dressed like a 1900s woman and this is from avon in 1982 so an 80s piece definitely vintage and i thought it was super cute i have no idea what the resale would be for this if there is a resale even but i thought it was really cool so i picked it up and i think i paid like 25 or 50 cents for this but i just thought it was really cool looking at the very least i can put it on my shelf behind me i don't know i thought it was sweet and then another thing i picked up at that estate sale is this really cute little apron this is like hand embroidered has some like orange stitching and flowers kind of a scalloped hem a little lace around the edges i just thought this was precious i think it would look so cute just tied up and hung on a kitchen wall I think it's beautiful. It's vintage. It's dainty. It's very thin. Almost looks like antique. It was probably handmade. So I think I picked this up for maybe a dollar and hopefully we'll resell that one for at least 25. I'll have to look up some more comps, but I would say at least $20 I'd hope to make on this, but I thought it was cute. So we have four more pieces, but make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already. About 50% of you guys watching are not subscribed, but you're here and you're watching my videos. So if you would like to help me out, the best way to help me out is to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button if you like this video. But this next piece is this super cool little sequin jacket number. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the kind of like triangular details on it. Lots of fun colors, the pinks, the reds, the purples, super cute. The back is just fully sequined as well. We have some little hook and eye closures along the front so you can close this whole thing up. I think this is beautiful. This is stunning. Like imagine this with some high waisted trouser pants going out on the town. I think it's sweet. This is in a size medium. The shell is 100% silk. The lining is polyester. And this is by Nightline by Della Rufogli. <laughs> I've never heard of this brand. It is vintage and I just thought it was beautiful, especially for it being 100% silk. All of these beautiful sequins. It doesn't look like it's missing sequins in any places. I know that these can go for quite a bit of money. So I picked this up and hopefully, I mean, I'll have to do some more research. I'll have to look up the brand especially. I just know that sequin pieces like this do really well. And it's really heavy. My arm is getting literally tired from holding it up. So I think it's beautiful though. I love that. 
and it looks like it's probably a little bit oversized for medium I think it looks a little bit larger maybe a large but I think this is stunning so I had to pick it up and I picked this up with that whole bundle of like nine dollars so I probably paid like three bucks for this maybe two super happy with that at that same garage sale again I found this pair of little Timberland slip-ons I have two pairs of Timberland shoes here today which is kind of crazy two different garage sales I think two different months even but these are a nice little pair of kind of canvas slip-on shoes they do have a little bit of wear a little bit of discoloration on the outside they need to be cleaned up on the inside but these are in a size 12 and I thought I'd pick them up the bottoms look like they're still in good condition they have been worn for sure but they still have a lot of life left in them so I'll look up comps put those up on the screen for you because I don't know about slip-ons compared to boots but I mean I think I paid like a dollar or two for these so I think it's gonna be worth it even if I make 25 bucks that's great and next up we have two bags to end this out they are great finds they're great pieces and this one is a little vintage coach purse so it is this kind of like very light brown leather and it has the coach logo on the clasp. It has a magnetic little button clasp there. And then we have the coach logo all over on the inside. We have two different big pockets. We have one divider, two different big pockets, and then a lot of little pockets in this side, as well as the coach authentication piece right there, a zipper on the inside. The whole thing is just really nice. Like it's a very nice bag. It is coach. It is authentic to my knowledge and it has a lot of great details to it. It also has a little coach leather little keychain right there. I thought it was really cute and it had a little bit of just different places where it's been, you know, scratched a little bit. It's kind of like what you get when you get leather pieces. I would say it's in really good condition for being leather and definitely vintage. So I was happy to pick it up. It has a crossbody strap. So I think it's really nice. Like it's a really nice bag and I paid, I think, either five or ten dollars I think I paid five dollars for this and I think I can resell for at least 50 I'll have to do some looking up of this exact same bag see what it looks like for that but hopefully I can find it and maybe I'll use my google lens even to find it but I think it should do well so I picked it up for five bucks and for a coach bag that's not bad at all and then the very last thing of this garage sale haul is this vintage Dooney and Burke bag I bought this from an older lady and she was very adamant that it was worth a lot so I think I paid five or ten bucks for this but the jokes on her because I just found a quarter and a dime and a penny in the bottom of this what up 36 cents made that back already i found this cute little dooney and burke bag it has the dooney and burke little ducky duck on the front it has a little bit of wear which i'm a little worried about i'll have to do some research and then the inside looks like this so i think it's really cute it has some really good details on the inside here black leather um and the zipper on the top works really well too it has a crossbody strap it's a nice brown leather i think it's a really nice bag like it's very classy um made 36 cents back on it but hopefully i can sell this again for like maybe 50 bucks i'd be happy with that so those were all the pieces i picked up in today's video but i love garage sailing maybe i'll try to go garage sailing again this weekend we'll see we are in the process of going to lots of house viewings house showings so we're actually going to go see some houses tonight jeremy and i went to an open house yesterday by ourselves but i'm excited to have our real estate agent with us we're gonna go look around tonight we found a house we really liked and i got some good footage of it so we're going back to there as well tonight i don't want to get my hopes up too high because obviously i know that the housing market is kind of crazy right now and people are losing houses that they love so um we're just going with optimism and we're gonna hope for the best pray for the best but um i'll be getting some footage of that so you should be seeing some house hunting videos coming soon because you guys seem very supportive of the idea of coming along with me so thank you guys for that if you guys liked today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed thank you guys so much for being here i love you lots and i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video bye